Beim Sichern hat man When belaying, you literally have the life of your rope partner in your hands. The slightest error here often leads to a fall and to a serious accident. For the anchor point, we largely differentiate between three different belay techniques. The body belay, the anchor belay, and the central point belay. As the name suggests, with the anchor belay, you belay directly using an anchor. This can be a carabiner in a piton, or it can be the eye of a sling. In some instances, it can also be a single large glue-in bolt, which is the only anchor at the anchor point. Because you clip both your personal anchor and your partner's belay onto this anchor, if someone falls, the force is then directly upon the anchor. The advantage of the anchor belay is that you don't need to be part of the belay chain yourself. So you don't have a load applied to your body as the load is transferred to the anchor. This makes it easy to control the brake rope. Potential load dynamics can of course mean the fall is relatively hard for the lead climber. It helps, of course, if you have lots of experience, if you've practiced, and can choose the right method for the appropriate situation. You can, by all means, use two or all three belay methods on an alpine climbing route.